So if life gives you lemons, you make a little lemonade. This is my uh, train system that we paid way too much money for back like six years ago now. And two times in three weeks, the control board, which is behind that, failed. And the reason is water. And there's a lot of different things that can spill water into it. So I just did one full cycle and you can see there's some water right there coming on down. The design of this thing has all this water this stuff coming in. There's condensation from that pipe coming in and it has a lot of rain gutters and things. Um, and then this thing can make water too, but there's literally nothing to collect that water. You can see up there, that's just a pipe that goes outside and that thing can have condensation come in. I think that's the intake for air for combustion, which this panel is supposed to be on here for 99% efficiency or whatever, but it's not right now. And you can see that there's evidence of rusting all over this stuff. So there's definitely water that has gotten in here, but that's not the problem right now. That's probably been a problem in the past because you can see how many parts are rusting. There's these little bits of metal rusting here. Uh, some of this stuff has you know, crud on it. These little bits of the motor mount is, that's rusting. And there's evidence of water all over this thing. So that's, that's one problem. And apparently there's a, a kit that you can buy that has like a little drain for this that goes out to there. So that's one thing that I'm gonna have to do here. But this whole contraption, a lot of water will come in here and it's supposed to drain out this line, but the installation doesn't have much of ability for it to come out here. It's like kind of level. So I'm guessing some water just sits in there. And because of that, you can see there's water there. Once the seal breaks, and apparently that happens after six years, water's just dripping down through this fan case and uh, to protect the PCB, which I found some water damage on it, which is nice. That means that it'll probably corrode over time. Uh, <laughs> I have this and just grabbed a little cutting mat, a silicone cutting mat, and it's dripping the water down into my little paint bucket. So that's my temporary fix, but I don't know. I'm going to have the, I guess it's still under warranty, so I guess they'll have to replace this whole thing to have new seals. But the new one's gonna fail. So this is like just a design flaw of the train S9V2. S9V2 is what this thing is. So if you have an S9V2, like I do, I guess expect that if you're in a basement, which I am, and you have these lines that run outside, condensation can come down them. So that's one problem. And then condensation will go down this. That's why they have these rain gutters all over the place. And, uh, I mean, one problem is you could have a clog in this line, but even if I do, I've had that happen. Actually, this, this pump has failed and the water just spills out on the floor. So there's no clog up here because that'd be really bad. And for the AC, they have a little safety switch up here that if the, if the water pools in here and that's clogged, it'll actually shut everything off. There's no safety switch that I can see in this area. Just all these rain gutters that can leak and the fan that housing that can leak. So, I don't know, at least the fire's on the top, so you're not going to burn the board up with, with fire, but everything else here is a little, little sketchy. Just like my fix, but it's silicone, so hopefully it won't catch fire in there. There's nothing around there that should catch it on fire anyway. But the control board is like 400 bucks, so I don't want to buy a new control board for this thing every two to three weeks at this point. And I'm guessing that this fan unit is expensive, but the, the, the really annoying thing is I have to pay for the labor. So the warranty covers parts, but not the labor. So I could just live like this forever and have my kids come in here and touch this thing and die. Anyway, train, why did you do it that way? What, what, what is this? Maybe I shouldn't have gone high efficiency.